Hey, welcome back to MC Rider. We're going to take a break from our touring series this week, and we're going to focus on probably the most important skill that you can practice on your motorcycle. We'll share a testimonial from one of our viewers who applied this skill and kept herself upright on a recent ride. And I'll show you some practice sessions that I've got in a parking lot, and we'll talk about how you can practice this skill on your own. Hey, if you're new here, my name's Kevin. I'm the host at MC Rider. We release a weekly video every Friday morning focused on skills or road strategy to help make you a better rider. I don't think there's anything that makes me happier than when I hear from an MC Rider subscriber or supporter on Patreon how MC Rider has made a real difference in one of their rides. I got a message a few weeks ago from Holly, who's one of our Patreon supporters. And she talked about how emergency braking helped her in a recent ride that she was out with her husband. So I'd like to introduce to you Holly this week and let her tell her story about how emergency braking helped her. Hi, Kevin. My name is Holly, and my husband and I reside in Western New York. Um, congratulations on your marvelous achievement at MC Rider, your YouTube channel where you discuss safe riding techniques for motorcyclists. I'm a relatively new and inexperienced rider. I successfully completed the basic rider course uh, through MSF three years ago, and I have roughly 3,000 miles riding experience. So I especially appreciate your YouTube channel, MC Rider, and I take your advice very seriously, so I practice whenever I can. I would like to share with you and your viewers an incident that happened a few days ago that could have been much worse um, had it not been for your great advice on MC Rider. Recently, my husband and I uh, celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary, uh, so we planned a day trip and toured the uh, southern shore of Lake Ontario in western New York. It was a beautiful day, the weather was perfect, and we covered just a little under 200 miles. However, there was one close call. Um, we were traveling on a two-lane highway, and the speed limit was 55 miles an hour. Um, I was traveling ahead of my husband on my cycle, and I was going roughly 62 miles an hour. Um, up ahead, the road banked sharply to the left at the brink of a hill. At this point, I remembered your voice to uh, reduce speed in situations of limited visibility. So by the time I reached the top of the hill, I was going about 45 miles an hour. It was then that I was shocked to see that a tractor trailer was blocking both lanes of the highway at the base of the hill. I think he was turning around, I'm really not sure. However, in any case, I quickly remembered one of your most important lessons, and that's emergency braking. Now, I have to admit that I've practiced this skill many times, always doubtful that it would work in a real life situation, because I thought, number one, I would panic, and number two, I would just lock up the front brakes. However, as I was quickly approaching that tractor trailer, I told myself, okay, don't panic and just simply apply slow and steady pressure to the brakes, and that's what I did. And the outcome was absolutely amazing. I came to this swift, abrupt, steady, safe stop without locking the front brakes, without skidding, without sliding. I didn't even stall my bike, which I still do at times. And I have to mention here that I do not have ABS brakes. My husband, who was following at a safe distance behind me, also stop safely. So while we were waiting for the tractor trailer to get out of the way, I had a chance to regain my composure. And the first thing I did was thank the Lord for keeping us safe. And the second thing I did was that I thanked you out loud. I said, thank you, Kevin, because you probably saved my life today. So we are truly grateful for all that you are doing at MC Rider. Keep up the great work, and we'll see you on the road. I did it! Yes, I did it! But you know, I think that reciting Hamlet by heart would have been easier than doing this. Thanks. You have a great day. All right, I'll take that challenge. Let's try that Hamlet thing and see how good we are at it. If we are true to ourselves, we cannot be false to anyone. Though this is madness, 
yet there is method in it. So let's talk about the method this week of emergency braking. I'll show you one of my practice sessions out on a parking lot, and we'll talk about some of the techniques I'm using to get a motorcycle stopped quickly in an emergency situation. Now, I've shared with you guys in the past in some other videos how MC Rider sometimes keeps me up at night. And what you're seeing right now is an example of it because this video was done. I had completed all my edits on it. I had uploaded it to YouTube. And now it's 3 a.m. in the morning and it wouldn't be complete if I didn't come down here and share this with you guys. Because Holly's story is what MC Rider is all about. How many times have you seen the tragic headline of some motorcyclist dying on the road in some tragic accident? And I saw one a while back, a guy had worked his entire life and he dreamed of retiring and riding a motorcycle. He went out the day after he retired and he bought a Harley. He crashed it on the ride home. I've seen stories of newlyweds out for a ride and they meet their tragic end. And God forbid in this situation, it could have been celebrating 30 years of marriage and a tragic accident, but it didn't happen. You can erase that headline because it did not happen. And it didn't happen because Holly got out on a parking lot and she practiced emergency braking. It didn't happen because as Holly approached that hill, she had limited visibility, so she slowed down. You can erase that headline because Holly took initiative and she took control of the situation and she gained skills out on a parking lot. That's what MC Rider is all about. That's what this whole thing is all about. But now that headline is erased from the newspapers, it only exists right here. You wouldn't hear about it if it didn't happen here on MC Rider. But now it puts the pressure on you because what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna watch another video as soon as this ends? There'll be some video on how to turn a Honda CB350 into the perfect uh, race bike. There'll be something on how to add this chrome piece to your motorcycle or how to pick the perfect helmet. There's all kinds of videos out there, but there's not a whole lot of videos that focus on you. And you are the most important part of the machine. And if you're not practicing these skills, if you're not getting off your butt and getting out on a parking lot and practicing this stuff, it will not be there when you need it. So I really want to thank Holly for coming on and sharing her story and hopefully motivating you to get out there and practice as well. This is one of my favorite parking lots near my house to get out and practice. In this instance, I tossed some cones out. They're about five feet apart, and there's about a 10 feet gap between each one of the cones. If you got cones, you can toss them out. If not, you don't really need them. You just need to find a particular spot where you'll begin your braking at. So I ride to the end of the parking lot, and I approach it initially when I'm starting out at about 20 miles per hour. As I progress in the training session, I'll pick my speed up but probably never over around 35 miles per hour for a top speed. As you're practicing this, some things that you'll want to consider. As I approach the stopping point, I'm shifting up into second gear, and I'm making a practice of shifting down into first gear as I perform my stop. Now, when you're out on the street, obviously the most important thing is getting the bike to a stop. But you may also want to consider shifting down into first gear in case that car behind you doesn't stop, that way you're ready to move out. And since I'm just practicing right now, I might as well practice the perfect scenario and what I would want to do in a perfect situation out on the road if I needed to make an emergency stop. And that is getting the bike down into first gear as I perform the stop. We've done other videos here on MC Rider on emergency braking. So if you want a more detailed explanation of the technique here, I'll refer you to some of those older videos and I'll have links to those down in the description. But one thing that you want to do when you 
practicing this technique is you want to practice using your brakes in a smooth manner. So I'm using the front and the rear brake to get the motorcycle to a stop. But the thing that's going to get you in trouble out on the street is if your instinct causes you to reach out and grab the front brake. Grabbing the front brake is going to lock the tire up before it has a chance to get pressure on the road and increase its grip. So you want to use a slow, progressive squeeze on that front brake. So when I approach the cones, my front tire gets to those orange cones. At that point, I'm reaching out for the front brake, and I'm slowly applying pressure to that front brake, and I'm slowly continuing to apply pressure to that front brake all the way through the stop. So in addition to that, I'm using the rear brake, but I'm really focusing on that front brake because on this bike, about 80% of my stopping power is coming from that front tire, and it's the one that could lock up and would cause a really bad day if that front tire locks up. So I'm using a slow, progressive squeeze on that front brake all the way through the stop. It's easier to see from this angle that as I apply the brakes, more and more weight of the motorcycle shifts to that front tire. It's because of this that you want to use that slow progressive squeeze. If you grab the brakes, that front tire is going to stop spinning before that weight has had a chance to transfer to the front. Currently there are three different braking exercises in the field guide. We've got emergency braking like this, a brake and escape exercise, and stopping quickly in a curve. Now not only are these fun to practice, but just like Holly, they very well could save your life out on the street. So I encourage you to get into the field guide and practice these because just watching a video is not going to help you develop the technique. You actually have to get on a parking lot and practice it and develop that muscle memory for yourself. I want to thank Holly personally for taking the time to share her story with us and reminding us all the importance of practicing emergency braking. This is the place you want to learn it. You don't want to learn it when that car pulls out in front of you. You want to learn it on a parking lot with no threat of traffic. Till next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and we'll see you on the road. MC Rider is made possible by our friends on Patreon. To learn how to support MC Rider, get access to the field guide and the forums, go to mcrider.com support.